guys, welcome back to Irish Funny Vlogs. Welcome back to another video of mine. And uh, this is just a quick player rations video for the Republic of Ireland's game against Hungary. Uh, please like the video, guys. If you like the content, subscribe. If you haven't already, it's free. And hit your bell notification button so you don't miss a video. Also, check back. We've done a live show, uh, an aftermatch show, uh, discussion show, Hungary versus Republic of Ireland, obviously. And uh, check that back, guys, as well. You can still watch that. Um, yeah, so anyway, guys, we get into the ratings quickly, and Gavin Bazuna started off in goal. I've got to give Gavin, I've got to give him an 8 out of 10, actually, because he made a very good save in the first half, even though he only played a half, not the point. Very comfortable on the ball, I felt, in the game. Very good on the ball. Um, sometimes a 19-year-old can be nervous, but you can see he's gaining in confidence, and... Um, you know, it, it's great to see alternatives to Randolph because uh, this is the point in these games as well to um, to actually uh, see if players can come in and do a job. Um, I'm going to actually rate Creevy and Keller at the same time because he came on at half time. I'm also going to give him an 8 out of 10. He made two really good saves and, uh, again, looked very comfortable. And uh, it looked like they were uh, battling literally against each other and both goalkeepers, Keller's 22, Bazuna's 19. Um, a player, serious players for the future for the Republic of Ireland. We still have Randolph as well. So I think uh, for the next, for the time being, um, our goalkeepers basically were in safe hands, so to speak, with goalkeepers. I move on to the centre back side of start it, guys. We had Duffy Egan and O'Shea. They actually completed the game as well. Um, I'm going to give Shane Duffy a 7.5 out of 10. I know he's given official man the match, but, um, you know, a few times, a few misplaced passes and that in the game, I felt when he was passing from the back. Defensively good, though. Solid. Made some blocks, made some tackles. Um, you know, I think uh, his performance probably a little bit overrated because he's been so poor, to be honest, for Celtic. But it's great to see him back playing well though 7.5 is a good rating remember guys and putting in a performance and that can only bode well for the future because uh, a lot of young players we need some experienced players there too John Egan for me John Egan gets the same 7.5 I don't think there was much a difference between them um, Duffy probably made the more eye-catching tackles in the game but I thought Egan was a little bit better playing the ball out from the back than Duffy in the match in my opinion um, so I'm going to give him a 7.5 as well. And again, good to have Egan back in the team, to be fair. Now, left side centre-back was Dara Shea. I thought he struggled a little bit, particularly because it might, he's a right footer, guys. And um, it can make a serious difference when you're playing left centre-back because you're a bit flat-footed at times and that. Uh, he missed a few tackles and that. Just didn't look um, very comfortable, I thought. I did... Uh, probably gave the ball away, actually, more than Duffy did. I said Duffy gave the ball away a bit. I thought... Uh, O'Shea did it more so um, 22 years of old age a player I really like uh, is Dara O'Shea but I think he struggled a little bit in this game so I'm trying to think there while I'm talking to be honest I gotta give him what would be a good one 6 out of 10 I think struggled a little bit guys but wasn't awful by any means in midfield Horahan 5 out of 10 for me for Horhan. I don't think he had a good game at all, guys. I thought he gave the ball away an awful lot. Struggled. Um, at times, they played through the middle quite too easily, I think, Hungary. And I thought Horhan really, really struggled in that aspect. Um, Josh Cullen, I'm going to give him slightly better. I think slightly better. I'm going to give him maybe a 5.5. Again, didn't think it was great. I really didn't think it was great. Uh, especially in the first half. half excuse me. <clears throat> Take a breath. Especially in the first half, I think um, he gave away some sloppy and cheap passes in the game, I felt, to be honest as well. Both players actually could have looked for the ball um, you know, more decisively from the centre-backs as well. Um, you know, Cullen, yeah, I mean, Look, he done okay. He done okay, in my opinion, and that's it. But um, as I said, give away the ball quite a bit, in my opinion. Jason Knight, uh, the other centre midfielder, I thought he was the pick of the tree, to be honest, and he's the youngest and less experienced of the tree. Uh, still only 20 years of age, Jason Knight. Um, I thought he got around the pitch better than the others. I thought he got tackles in and used the ball better than the other two midfielders as well. Um he does a lot of very good work that would appear to be unnoticed. He gets around the pitch very good, uh, very well. 
Um, something like Kante, Kante in a way, be great if he's half the player Kante was, I don't know if he turned out to be, but um, no, I thought uh, he performed very well in this match and I was very pleased with his performance. Um, Troy Parrish <clears throat> kind of played in behind the striker and uh, in front of the midfield in this match. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but was kind of lost, I thought, in his role. I thought he was unsure what to do. Didn't really link up too well with Ida, but at the same time, didn't really cover the midfield. Um, he worked very hard. Uh, it's a learning experience for him. But a game, I think, that he kind of struggled in uh, to get involved in and maybe make the right decisions, to be fair. So um, I'm going to give Troy Parrish probably a 5 out of 10, to be honest. I don't think I gave Knight a rating, guys, so I'm going to stick that up now. I'm going to give Jason Knight a... I'm going to give him an 8, guys. I thought he performed really well. I'm going to give him an 8. So on to wing back, guys. I'm going to move on to wing back now. James McLean, I thought... This role is tailor-made for James McLean, to be honest. He's not expected to create too much, but could keep his wit. Works very hard down the flank. I thought he got forward actually very well in the game, to be honest, which at times. It got some nice crosses into the box that maybe weren't taken advantage of. So I thought McLean played very well in this match, actually. Um, and I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10 for his performance. Um, Matt Doherty on the other side. <clears throat> I don't think he performed very well again. It's 28 cap. He hasn't really done it for Ireland, in my view, guys. Uh, he was also playing in his best position, which is wing back. Unlike McLean, later in the match, he did get forward and looked a little more dangerous. But unlike McLean, in general, he didn't get forward as much. He passed the ball back and sideways an awful lot. Wasn't very progressive at all in the game. So I'm going to give Doherty... He wasn't dreadful. He wasn't kind of too much offence or anything like that. I'll give him a six, guys. Up front, Adam Ida. I thought Adam Ida was excellent in this match, guys. And he's my man in the match, personally, because um, for most of the game, he was isolated. And he still put in a great performance. There's only so much you can do. Held the ball up brilliantly. Um, ran the channels very well. At times, he wasn't found with his great movement. There was one stage first half, the tripart did it on the ball, to be honest with you when he could have found them and um, he could have been in, but didn't find them. But his movement was excellent. Kept working hard throughout the match, dropping deep, getting on the ball, holding up the ball, trying to get into dangerous areas. He could have done much of his support. That's the only thing. That's not his fault. He'd done all he could. And I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10. And my personal man of... The match, just a quick... Uh, just a touch on the subs really quickly, guys. Obviously, I gave Kelleher a rating because he was on from 45. But I'm going to give Horgan and Malumbi ratings too. Malumbi came on after 56 minutes, and I thought he performed very well, actually. He got forward well, uh, can move forward with the ball as feet, but um, his awareness, his positional play, and getting tackles in, throwing himself about was really, really good too. So I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Uh, Horgan, a lovely little flick actually at one point where he ran in behind a great defender from Hungary to keep it away from Ida he was quite sharp so I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 as well the other subs, Collins, Manning can't really judge, Benny I can't really give a rating to guys but he was on for about 4 or 5 minutes and he opened the game up a little bit actually with his base and did have a chance so nice to see that, we need someone like that available as well so guys I'm going to leave it there uh, let me know what you think, let me know who you think was man the match and uh, what ratings maybe you would give the players and uh, check out that show as well, guys. And I'll see you later. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Now.